Hi everyone, today I'm on my toy hunt at Target and we're going to stop by GameStop and Target has some of the new Chonky series, Cat vs. Pickles plush. Looks like they have two pickles, a couple cats, there's a cool alphabet soup cat, oopsies. We have the Yes We Can cat, there's a gumball one which I dropped and need to grab. They also have some other blind bags. Here's the little gumball one which is like that classic design, she's blowing a bubble. Those are actually really, really cute. They're a little bit bigger. They're pretty soft and squishy. And then they have some Squishmallow cards or stickers. That's cool. Nice to see like Squishmallow expanding their line as well. And then up top here we have some slap bands and bows and mystery bags. Down here we have the figure key keyrings from the Mandalorian. Oh, that's cool. That's season two. And then some of the Harry Potter blind bags. I've opened a bunch of these on my channel. I think that's series four on those ones. They have a lot of multiple series as well. And then I passed by this, but they have like hand sanitizer themed to Sailor Moon. What? It's just an empty box. <laughs> Okay, so in back in the collector section, they have another cool Funko book bag. Look at it. It's the Batman symbol and utility belt. That actually works really well <laughs> as, as one of the mini backpacks. I love those. That's really cool. They also have um, one from the Mandalorian up there, too. Looks like they have the Batman Returns art series. They have a little, little mini Boba Fett from the Funko line. And, of course, the Star Wars Tamagotchi. I am just think that soda, the Funko soda cans, they just don't exist in the wild. They're, I think you just have to order them online. Oh, Jack Skellington's really cool. That's a, that's a nice plushie of, of him. But I do have some sodas on, on pre-order. They have the big Target exclusive Lucario Pokemon Funko Pop. It's the Jumbo one, but he looks really neat. I have not found the smaller versions in stores yet. I pre-ordered Sylveon, but from Amazon, which who knows when that will arrive, but um, they're hard to find in stores. And then in the Nintendo section, they have some cool clothes items. Look at the little Grogu in his little floating crib thing, cradle thing. That's cute. But this Target doesn't have too much in terms of Nintendo, but it looks like this is where they're putting a lot of their Pokemon figures, which is cool. So definitely check both aisles, the action figure aisle and then in back in the Nintendo section. They have that Super Mario Brothers mystery box. In the Transformers section, they have some of the new studio series with, oops, Cliff Jumper and Cup. Oh, that's cool. And I'm so happy to see that they have the plastic window for these new studio series. Because I know we saw some Bumblebee ones with like Ravage and Shockwave that didn't. Um, here's this one with Bumblebee himself from, I'm assuming his, his movie, Buzzworthy Bumblebee. I like the cup. So I have the 86 movie version, which is this one right next to it here. And I'll be honest, they did a better job on this studio series, the Bumblebee Buzzworthy one than the other one so oh that's tempting i like i like this one better so that's that's cool they're 22.99 does that warrant me getting two cups i don't know he's cool <laughs> i do like cup and then they have the 86 movie sweeps we got some war for cybertron there and then the 86 coronation star scream which i love i got mine i still need to open him looks like they have about six of them still he he's a little pricey but a must and then we move down to sort of the other action figures with Power Rangers and G.I. Joe. Love love the Roman pig thing. That's just, he's funny. He brings back memories. I don't know. Every time I see that figure. And then we have some of the G.I. Joe, Super 7, Avengers. Cool stuff. Oh, down here they have some of the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness figures with Wanda. That's cool. I think just these two so pretty neat i'm excited to see what what new figures they also have some marvel universe comic book accurate figures that wolverine looks pretty cool i'm excited i'm excited for the path of marvel and how much x-men they may incorporate going forward really excited for the multiverse of madness too that should be a good time 
And they also have more Super 7, like Hulk and Mr. Fantastic figures, and a very cool Black Widow Marvel banner on their aisle. On the back end cap here, they have some Squishmallows. I haven't seen this frog. He's not like the huge one. He's the mid-sized one. Still big, but very cute. We, we like a good frog. They have that bulldog, which is adorable, with a little patch on his eye. We got a cat. We have an axolotl and like a little boba drink. Cool stuff. Love, love the frog. And then in the Pokemon section proper, not too much going on. They do have this uh, Pikachu Select figure, which looks awesome. We've seen this only one time before, and it looks like now, okay, <laughs> it opens up, which there you go. Last time I showed you a box, but look how cool. Oh, he's such a little angry Pikachu, but that's a really interesting display piece you can i like how you can choose to either take it out or leave it in the box like that it, it's a big piece it would be smaller taken out but i love how they created a a window flap that makes for a, a really nice collectible piece there so that's that's cool a one tenth scale figure i definitely hope they they do more i know you can find some exclusive figures on the pokemoncenter.com in the united states as well they have some really neat ones with trainers. Ah, and here's the Five Nights at Freddy's section. It's blank. They have shelf tags. Ah, I was hoping to find some of the new figures. We found them at that more collector store at Malia a couple weeks back, and I didn't purchase them. Okay, Upgrade Shark looks pretty cool for Fortnite. But hopefully soon. I'm definitely going to stop by GameStop today, too. And then here is a look down the next aisle that has a Jurassic World, and we have some He-Man. That horse looks cool. It's like a robo-horse. Stridor. And then he also has Landshark. Oh my goodness, Skeletor rides Landshark? Ooh. Do I need that for my Skeletor? <laughs> May well, the answer is yes, but, you know, <laughs> it costs money, so may maybe not just yet. We'll see. Oh my goodness. And then they have Darth Maul's saber that you can put together. And then look at this cool He-Man pack. That's that's really neat. They have a lot of cool He-Man stuff. I know there's a ton of Masters of the Universe soda cans. And they have the Navarro Cantina from The Mandalorian. That's kind of cool. I love oopsies, the old box, the classic, like, Kenner black box. Looks like you only get, like, one figure. You don't get all those guys. And look at the little Grogu figure. Um, sold separately, <laughs> but, but he cute. But that's kind of neat. I'm glad that they're coming out with some, like, display sets. And, of course, we have Grogu there. This is the Target that also has a lot of the model kits, both for the Mandalorian and... Matt Cross. We have a cool Biker Scout. I wonder if they changed their package on the Black Series. It has a cool shimmer design with some neat artwork. It's a metallic box. That's cool. I hope they also keep the plastic windows for, for that series. And then here is a look at some of the wrestling series. Haven't seen those select wrestlers again. Moving on down, we have some Polly Pockets, which look at this cute alien set. We also have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter set. One Encanto doll. And then Toy Mini Brands. So last week at Walmart, they were just stocked with the Disney Store brands, but Target has a shelf tag as well um, and a spot for them. So. Maybe Target didn't get in the quantities that Walmart did. I also have some little Hatchimal Easter baskets. That's cool. Hatchimal's always been doing that with their little seasonal baskets. Of course, they're eggs, so that's that's perfect. Looks like they have some Micro Mart Real Littles. I don't see the drop two big packs. They also have more of these Real Littles journals. Which looks cool. There's some cool designs. I'm glad Real Littles in general has increased in, in popularity quite a bit. It's a good brand. 
they're doing they're doing a good job with their minis and then the rest of the aisle here is dedicated to lol surprise and some omg dolls looks like the traditional fair that we've we've seen target stock before but still a nice selection and variety including the new omg queens they have all four dolls on a end cap here they have some more of the pacific coast rainbow high dolls we saw the the boy doll i'm blanking on his name once but haven't seen him since but we have the ladies here and then target has a nice selection of nana -na surprise they have the camping set they have the um fox and deer they also still have some of those sweetheart series which are just so cute Again, all, all the colors together just look look awesome. That's that's a fun one to collect. And then of course the the deer is so tempting. I just love her jacket with like the spots and the fur. They did a great job on those designs. So true to form, but they always do a great job with the pairing of the, the animals to the dolls. And then around this corner here we have this side cap for LOL spring break. So it looks like there's two dolls. <laughs> the one with bunny ears is adorable. So it's kind of like what they've done with Valentine's and the holidays. Oh wow, these are in here tight. So we have this one, the pink one, you'll get that doll. And then the blue one, you'll get the cool one with the bunny ears, which that's really cute. I've pretty much stopped collecting LOL surprise dolls, but unless something catches my eye, like that bunny one's really cute though, <laughs> but for the most part, um, I'm not really collecting those anymore, but definitely on an end cap and check, check every place in Target. And then Target has some new dolls called Mermaids. They're not Mermaid High. They're a different line. Oh, look at her. She has cool braids and fully braided hair with some cool streaks and buns earrings and then the tail itself is plastic it doesn't feel like you have like a regular doll with legs but you do get some interesting mermaids fashion so we have this one so their fins are a little different they have a pretty face sculpting design and then it looks like they have this one which is kind of a, a rock and roll one she comes with a guitar an electric guitar and she has curly long purple hair and some cool box art so mermaids <laughs> they're on the the top by the um brats and L not lol rainbow high dolls that's cool that's definitely my first time seeing those they also have the rock star brats a couple more of the the band members and then of course rainbow high has a a plethora of dolls quite the big section oh there's the guy the guy uh, doll from Pacific Coast and then here's a close-up I, I was had to bring these down but here's a close-up of some of the new mermaids dolls and the package is interesting too it's sort of like in a fin shape and it looks like there's five dolls total they have three of them so that's kind of cool definitely something something and then on the front end cap of the rainbow high aisle they have some of the lol surprise queen mini dolls in the capsules so that's pretty cool those we saw when we first found the omg queens but then they kind of disappeared so the capsules are, are still very very popular and fun they also have the rainbow high junior high ones which I think on Instagram they announced the new a new doll or a, a rival high school or something. <laughs> oh, and look it, they have a poster for the mermaids dolls too. Okay, so now I'm at GameStop. We're in the Funko Pop section, and they have a really cool white rabbit, Alice in Wonderland. They have the Polly Pocket shell compact, and she's holding a Polly Pocket doll. I love the retro toys. They have a cool selection. They have the Play-Doh retro toys. Look at that classic can. As well as the Trouble little game piece. We got a cute Choco Cat. Smokey the Bear. <laughs> you name it. I love... Oh, look at Raichu. 
I love looking at GameStop because their varieties are just a lot more than, let's say, a Target would or, or Walmart. They have the Monsters, Inc., Yeti. They have those little, this is Snookums the Raccoon, those sweetheart ones, and they have like a, a knife or an axe. <laughs> cool stuff. They also have a cool Pokemon section. They have this Pokeball popcorn popper, which that's hilarious and looks really fun. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. And then not too many action figures, but they have some World of Nintendo stuff. Some really cool glasses set. And then Animal Crossing has a little action figure set. A mug. A tumbler. We have the little Grogu mug. And I guess housewares and collectibles are matching up. We have a Grogu waffle maker. Yes, it stamps your waffle. A Boba Fett one. Oh, and look at a Mandalorian popcorn maker. GameStop also has some fun Squishmallows, we got Piggy plushies, we got Funko plushies, and Pokemon. Ooh, I love the Ad Icons cereals. I just want to find those in, like, <laughs> soda can form. And look at these Funko plushies. They're boba drinks. Okay. I like the Happy Milk Tea boba. I wonder what these are from. Just Funko plushies. I don't know why that one's sad. It makes me sad. <laughs> no, no, no sad face plushies. I can't handle that. But they have some cool plushies. By the cash register is Funko, not Funko. <laughs> GameStop has a nice selection of blind bags, some figural key rings. I haven't seen the new generation of My Little Pony figural key rings before. A couple other series. Cool stuff. I, I always love the variety of blind bags and collectibles. It looks like they have some Roblox, they have the Paka Pacas, the Pain Party Pinatas. <laughs> And then on the flip side here, they have some um, Thimble Stump Hollow series. These are the designer collectibles. I've seen these before. I like the characters. This is series three. My Plastic Heart, a website that I get a lot of my vinyls from, um, also stocks those. But it's really cool to see those in stores, especially if you just want like one. They also have a little Mystery Dragon plushies from Squishmallow. That's cute. <laughs> And then the only Five Nights at Freddy's items they have at this GameStop is some black light slime. And you get a cool, like, collector figure. They also have Bumblebee. But that's, alas, that's it. But these are kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm back home from my toy hunt. I ended up just purchasing one thing, which is a super cool Alice in Wonderland Funko Pop of the White Rabbit. And this figure looks awesome. It's part of the Alice in Wonderland series, which is just super hard to find in stores. And GameStop has them for, I think it's $12.99, which is cool. They had a nice selection of stuff. I did ask if they had a Five Nights at Freddy's section, and he just said they were sold out of everything. So I'm hoping to find some new figures and some mystery minis soon, too. It's It's been a while, but really happy to take this guy home with me. They did a great job on his glasses as well. So there you have it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.